5 tips and tricks to get better at bed wars. This video took a long time to make, so please, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me out an absolute ton. Number one, game modes. You never want to play fours or threes because they do not help you improve. If you want to mess around, you can play those game modes, but if you really want to improve, play solos or duos. Those, those, those help you improve a lot more. Number two, items. To start off the game, you should have 64 blocks, 16 ladders, and a TNT. The blocks help you build your bed defense and get to the other person's base. The ladders help you take no fall damage, and the TNT helps you destroy the bed defense of your opponent and break their bed. Later on, you should end up getting some iron armor and maybe a better sword. Number 3. Enchantments. You should always get sharpness first and then later on get prot, because when you get prot, it helps your armor go up. If you have iron armor and you're in prot 1, you're a higher chance of winning your battles versus someone with just normal iron armor. And with sharpness, it's just, uh, it just deals a lot more damage. You should also get the mining fatigue trap. It helps out a ton, and if you're ever in a sticky situation and they don't have shears because you have a wool bed defense, then you can just void and hit them off the edge. Number 4. Bridging. You should always learn how to speed bridge instead of flat bridge because if you learn how to speed bridge, you can at least get to bases faster than flat bridging. And you should always build up when you're bridging instead of build flat because if you build flat, there's a higher chance you'll get targeted. And if you build up, there's a higher chance people will be more scared of you and just not want to rush you as much. Number five, game sense. Like if you see someone with full diamond armor and you only have iron armor, do not rush them. There's no chance of you winning unless you have prot four. Also, if you're rushing someone and you die, you will know where they're at and you should always pay attention to the bridges to middle or to your base to know where they're coming from. And if they got some emeralds, you should know they either got obby if they have a bed or they got invis and a pearl to pressure you. You should always be careful with your surroundings no matter what. Okay guys, I know this video is short. Um, I'm really in a rush with making this because I've been getting so stressed out with school lately. But it's fine and I really hope you guys press the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. And goodbye!